Hello everybody, it's Ellie Diecast, and we're back again. And this time we're going to be taking a look at those Easter cars that come out from Walmart each year. These are not called exclusives. I guess they're just happy Easter cars this time around. There are six of these. And right now it's the early part of March and they're already out. I checked at my Walmart. I didn't see them. Then my wife found them. I actually bought them, which is a little rare. So thanks to my lovely wife for getting me the set. Um, but I went back to look at them and they, uh, they were gone. So check your Walmart. Sometimes they are over in the Easter section. Sometimes they're in the dump bins and sometimes they're on the peg. Uh, for 2015, these will be exclusive to Walmart, I think. We'll take a look at the cars. When we're all done taking a look at them here in the package, I'll take the cars out. So first is the Toyota RSC. And this particular car, the rugged sports concept car, it was a concept car. It wasn't released. Um, we've seen this one recently quite a bit. Uh, I'll give you a close up there before we take it out. Pretty nice. They did a pretty good job of getting the colors Eastery on these. Sometimes like with the, um, the 4th of July cars, they didn't even have red, white, and blue on them. This one's very Eastery. <laughs> you just can't get any more Eastery than that tarmac attack. This is kind of like a little tuned indie car. Uh, tarmac attack here. We saw, I think last time in 2013, I think it came out in two colors and that's about the only time we've seen it. So I think this is the third release. Yeah, it's not really my favorite of the three, but it's Easter. I mean, you can't, you can't beat Easter, right? Especially Easter like three weeks early. Next up, the Amazon. These are in order, by the way. There's your six, so this is the third one. The Amazon. This guy has been out a lot. I'm gonna have to hold Amazon there. Actually, eh, come on, Amazon. There you go, Amazon. Um, I didn't know much about this car. I found out over the last couple months. It's a. Uh, it's kind of a combination of various street cars. And uh, it's supposed to be a VW uh, Passat um, 3B3. It's only parts and pieces of it. Uh, this car was a thank you car to Brazil for the growth of Hot Wheels in Brazil. And Brazil is a huge collecting community. Many sites online from Brazil. And I know I get a lot of viewers from Brazil. So... Nice that they made it in the colors of the Brazilian flag. And you got yourself your kind of tribute car in the Amazon. Next up, we've got the Super Nat. I had forgotten about this car, and there's a reason. It's I, I saw this and I thought, oh, that's a car that hasn't been released lately. I haven't seen that one. It has been. Um, it's a, uh, it just seems to always come out in the five packs. It's been in a couple play sets, the Gorilla Attack and the Croc Cruncher. So the Super Nat does not get along well with other animals evidently. But this car has been out quite a bit lately in the last decade. It just tends to come out in the five packs. I don't think it's been in the main line in quite a while. Second to last one is the Diora 2. I expect this will be one of the more popular ones. It always seems to be. There are some things about the Diora 2 you might not know. It was in the Easter series three years ago, so it's been a popular one. I think it kind of looks like an egg, so that's the, that's the reason. Um, it also sometimes comes with the surfboards, which was this one does, and sometimes does not. The surfboards are not necessarily always part of the release of the Diora 2. And uh, it's based off one of the original red lines, the original Diora, which was much more boxier looking than this one. Um, it's uh, also was made into a real life version of the car. So. And that is in the Hot Wheels Hall of Fame. If you wanted to ever see that real life version, there's Easter 15 on it. And purple and orange, pretty nice. Last is, of course, a pickup. Because <laughs> it would not be a series without the pickup, the custom 69 Chevy pickup. 
And did you know that this casting's been in the Hot Wheels lineup in one way or another, one series or another, continuously since it came out in 2002? So if you're a collector of this car, and there must be many of you out there because Hot Wheels is making a huge push to seemingly always have this one uh, in their series, um, it, uh, it's always been there, one way or another. So... Uh, it was in the Garage Series in 2011, and it was a treasure hunt in 2007. So, a very popular model. There it is. I was just looking as I was setting this up. Oh, oh you want to see into my world of uh, technical issues? Wait a second, let's get that. If that green right there, where I'm pointing, is green... <laughs> And I did a great job with the green screen because I got green there and green there and this is going to be a nightmare to green screen this thing. So we may either just have a green background or not. We'll see how this works out. So if there's just a green background back there, it's because I decided I did not want to tackle that, that green screen. Green's kind of Easter-y. Maybe we'll just leave it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take these out of the package and we'll take a closer look at them. I know some of you want to see the back, and I forgot to show it. So here is the back of the card, and you can pause that if you want to look at it a little bit closer. Okay, we're back, and we'll take a closer look at these. Well, in no particular order here. Uh, this is the Toyota RSC, and you can kind of see that I think the Tampos are on the same on either side. It has Cottontail Rally on it. If you look real close there, that says, can't read it. You'll be able to read it, but I can't read it. <laughs> it's got egg hunt on it hot wheels 15 there's the front and your back i'll try and catch the uh, it does have the name on the bottom see through bottom that's our first one tarmac attack probably most of you won't be as interested in this guy but he sticks around a little bit the original tarmac attacks kind of stuck around a little bit looks like a little egg driving it it does have Easter 15 on it, little Hot Wheels logo. I think that's about it. The Amazoom Brazilian Easter car. What's it say there? It says, can't read it. You guys can always see it on the uh, video, but my screen here is smaller. <laughs> there you go. The green's nice. I think the kids will like this one. Easter Racing on it. This one is Supernat. I bet Supernat sticks around on the shelves a little bit. There's that, that bunny we've seen before. We've seen him on uh, previous Easter releases. That kind of crazed bunny looking guy. And the Diora. Whoops. Got Easter stuff stuck on it. There he is. I bet the Dior goes pretty quickly. This is not one of my favorite Diors, but if you collect these, there are a lot of them to collect. I'm going to leave its rubber band on so when I store it. Those little surfboards do come off. They kind of, if you pull them off, they'll come off. Uh, Hot Wheels Farm Fresh Eggs. This was my wife's favorite. She really liked that one. It says Easter 2015 there. So overall, pretty nice release for the Easter cars. Uh, I tend to, I don't think I've liked most of these releases lately with the uh, themed ones. The, the car choices have been not my favorite. But I am happy these are at least in Easter colors and um, that uh, they came out early enough. So if you want to get them for Easter, you'll have a chance to get them. Some of them have come out so late that by the time the holiday hits, they're gone. Uh, a couple notes that may not affect everybody. 
Uh, these were 88 cents at my Walmart. Walmart, for some reason, at least my certain Walmart, has just been dropping the prices like crazy. So I don't know if they're overstocked or if that's a Walmart thing. I do know they may be closing my Walmart soon. So it might have something with just trying to clear some of their stock. Um, the next video I'm going to be doing will be on the SpongeBob SquarePants um, uh, series that they just released. And I got those for or some, I think it was $2.50 a piece. So just to show you, you might want to check your Walmart. I don't think that's at all Walmarts, but you can check. So thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.